Now let's go to another issue that is talking about uh, the FARC allocation. Mm. We just left the state, the federal government states, they share uh, 966 uh, billion naira. Good. Mm. I think it's, it's there's lots the, more money to share. The states are rejoicing. You see, um, for me, it's um, a mixed bag because unfortunately, even those of us here are also guilty of this. All the time we talk about the federal government, federal government, this federal government, that federal government, this federal government, yeah. that. What about state? And you have state governments, you have local governments, go, local governments. Yeah. as far as I'm concerned, if tomorrow they say let's have a referendum yeah. or to vote to determine whether we should scrap local government, I'll be the first to vote to, to say. Because I'm not, I'm not saying it's not... If you, on paper, it makes a lot As of it sense. Is, in practice, it's not in existence. But in practice, it is not in existence. It's just a, a, a Nothing is happening. All form. that they do on a monthly share basis is to share the money, and then everybody goes back. Most local governments, the day, the week that is busiest the most is it's the week they, they, that they allocation salaries. comes. Yeah, yeah. Once that week is gone, nobody, a lot of people don't even... Chairmen of local happen. government don't reside no, in their local they don't, they don't even live yeah. there. They don't even live in the local government. And I've been to local governments in several states in Nigeria. In fact, there was a time I went to Nasarawa, so one Akwanga local government. Mm. The local government doesn't even live in Nasarawa states. <laughs> and so we're told. We, we, in the entire local government, as big as the place was, the people who found there, they are no more than five. In fact, we, the guests, we are more than the people we met at local government. Only so we just day. have federal and state. The same thing in Lagos, everywhere. Yeah. It's yeah. sad. And, and so now that they're distributing more money at the, at the federal government level, you would ordinarily think that it then means that perhaps some of the very terrible, I don't want to say bad, bad is an understatement, some of the terrible roads mm -hmm. in our local governments will not be fixed. You know, some kind of palliatives, even if you're not going to do a proper construction, just some kind of, just to make it, at, just to, nothing is happening. As I but, speak but, to you, I haven't but, seen anything. But, but you you, you know why it's like that? It's because our constitution also created the room for the local government to be manipulated in the sense that it gives the power to the houses of assembly mm -hmm. to legislate. No, and, and most times, that, that, that's what you now see, they talk about tenure of. The local government chairman, you just mm -hmm. see so all, all manner. No, all but manner. in if, terms if, of if legislation, it's, if it's a terror of government, yes, and like the federal, the draw location for the federation account, yes. like the federal, the states, they should also have tenure that stands in the, the federal government. Yes, yeah, the federal well, government cannot uh, uh, legislate for the tenure of a state governor. Why will a state governor or the state House of assembly have the power to legislate for the tenure? Of the local government. Okay, now let's look at it this way. The immediate past mm. administration of um, President Mahmoud Buhari, mm. you know, came up with a policy and implemented that policy up to, I don't know whether it's still in place, to ensure that local government get their allocations directly. Mm. Before now, the, that's, that's what they call the joint accounts. Yes. Mm. The state, that state government, you know, gets the phone and, and then decides whatever they want. Amount that push. goes. But okay. now, the system that we have in place as of today is that local governments get their funds directly from the federation accounts. Mm. Now, how does that affect the tenure of the local government chairman? Now, if he now has access, that's not to say that governors don't coerce them to still, you know, push some back to whatever projects that they're doing at the state level. Mm. But it, it also means that they have access to more funds. Mm. I'm saying that the level of irresponsibility at the local government level is, 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 is sad. Mm. And until citizens begin to to organize, exactly. organize just, and mobilize to exactly. you know, demand performance. It's the same thing we are saying. Just, Nothing it's the same thing we are saying. The mind. states making sure that the local government cannot perform. Most of the functions of the local governments, no, the local like, government like, also like, has... like, like advertisement, advertisement and all those things. Yes. Most of the functions of the local mm -hmm. government are now being carried out by, by the, the state states. government. They so the state, the local government don't even have capacity to generate revenue that they can do anything. Like what you said, that money paid directly to the account of local government. I think the monies are still paid into the joint accounts. The monies, the foundation, are paid into the joint account, mm. joint account of the state and the local, local government. government. Now, most, in most states, the local government administrations are appointed. They are, they are appointed, yes. yes. So the guy is appointed and he has... Loyalty. He has a written instruction. Mm -hmm. You can't even spend this money. So the money enters into the joint account, and the joint account now look at, okay, that's, you, you, in the joint account, the local money have its own percentage. Yes. But once it enters into the joint account, so you want to sit down with the commissioner of finance and the governor and determine what goes to you, 
don't bother about the road. The state will tell you that we will construct those roads. Mm -hmm. No, they will never do those roads. So mm -hmm. the money that is supposed to go into road construction, they'll keep it aside. We will do it for you. Yes, yes. The one that will go into this will do it for you. What I'm saying is, strip the House of Assembly of the part to legislate for the local government. Let it be the way it is. No, no, but no, just sorry. I, I need to add something. Okay. The local governments have what they call the legislative arm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or oh, that's the councillors. Mm -hmm. Yes. At that level, they also have what they call the leader of the house, which is supposed to be like speaker. Mm -hmm. Even though they call them speaker, that's an abuse, actually. They're not supposed to, call, to be called speaker. Mm -hmm. The leader of the house. Mm -hmm. They have the clerk of the house, blah, blah, blah. Just like the way you have in every legislative assembly. And they never meet sometimes. But, yeah, they meet. And they are the ones who usually pass the budget for local government. I know that for free. They are the ones who pass the budgets, who so-called scrutinize the budget for the local government. So the, the only thing that the state assembly does is this issue of tenure, for example, that you have mentioned, okay. and maybe chieftaincy issues. The budget issues. you are talking about is only in paper. Well, in well, the real well, stuff, well, the budget you are talking about is only in paper. Is, 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 is it is what the state government tells them they do course. to the letters. Of course. Of course. Who is that uh, local government, the councillor, to do anything? They, you see, they, they don't have any say. And that is, that is the sad reality and it's across all the states I'm, in Nigeria. I want to that agree with reality. you that, that in Nigeria, the governors are just too powerful to influence almost anything they wanted in the state. Guys, but I, having said that, yeah. sorry to quickly chip this in. All of these are possible because we have, will I call it um, um, cities rascality, citizenship rascality in Nigeria. Yeah irresponsibility to the highest order. All of us who are citizens of different local governments, we are in the city center, we are in the state capital. Mm. We don't get to question because the truth is that the closest people to take, to enforce stock taking mm. at the local government level is the citizens. Mm. That's the closest to you. All right? While your representatives are there to fight at the state level and federal level, at the local government level, the citizens, that's the closest. And then you don't get people talk about the huge funds that get to local government. Everybody is accusing the governor, accusing the federal government. So I, there's this I, kind I, of... I, I think there's a, a reason for that. Uh, what, until until what people I start see, to the mobilize, that like you said, at the grassroots level. Most people you say stay questions. in the state capital mm -hmm. already realize that no local government chairman has capacity to give him contracts. It is mm -hmm. as it is approved by the... State so all of us want to go and share the national team. So whatever. So they now look, if I go to sit down there, the guy does not even have power. It is only what they tell him to do. So let me go there to the man who will tell him and lobby. Now let's quickly go on the break. I will be right back after this moment. You're welcome back. My, uh, my producer just said, let's deal with the news in the issue. When I said issues in the news, whichever way, let's deal with something. Uh, uh, now, uh, we're still talking about the, the allocation. Exactly. So now the that they have more funds, mm -hmm. nothing that is, is going state. to significantly change. Mm -hmm. what, are, what you're going to have are state government, local government officials buying more cars, building more houses, mm -hmm. attending more pilgrimages, mm -hmm. attending more foreign trips, you know, marrying more wives. Nothing will happen, unfortunately. And certainly more girlfriends. And, and nothing will happen. And, 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 and it's sad. That this is a sad reality. It's, it's yes, sad. It's sad reality. It's sad because, I, 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 look, no matter what you say, the funds coming into local governments every month can at least construct one kilometer or two kilometer, or some kind of, you know, just create some, some ease. Mm. You need to drive around even in Lagos, in some mm. local government. You ask yourself, am I still in Lagos? Because you say Lagos. Am I, you, are you, are you, are you, am I still in Lagos? Lagos. Lagos. In Lagos. Wait, wait, now, if you say it could do his part. Let me refer you to a state. A, even a in the Kaja. Let me refer you to a particular the seat of road government. That, is, that, that are bad roads. A particular road that is almost not motorable as we speak. That is... Igbogbo Baiku Road, connecting... No, no, that, that road is and terrible. That road is terrible. Right that road is terrible. You can't. They started the project and abandoned it. That road is and terrible. It's, it's terrible. Now, 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 that is a cool deal. Go to Ikeja, uh -huh. go to Bariga. Surulere. And you, you, now, you now wonder that this, even if you are yourself. crawling, by now you should have crawled to somewhere exactly. to fix certain things. Exactly. You see, what, what the people need actually is just minimal attention. Exactly. Minimal here, minimal so there, much. and we get it fixed. We're all talking about palliatives. And for me, I strongly support. I'm not interested in the palliative of giving bread. Mm. It won't solve anything. Give a man fish, he will be hungry the next moment. Teach him how to fish. My local, government, take care of chairman, the my local mm. government chairman fixed about three roads 
the very months. In fact, he did what they call the first 100 days. It was so mm. elaborate. Mm. As I speak to you today, no. nothing else has been done. Okay. In fact, one of the rules <laughs> have been abandoned. <laughs> the question is, what is maybe a few months of election again? Yeah, they will now come back again. So is that how? Now, like yeah, this and, and, and we won't blame them. We we'll blame the citizens. Because we've accepted to be gullible. Mm. They will come around and they will still bamboozle us with two arguments. Now, Jonathan was saying something here. I said the politicians, when they want to get to election, they will tell you that I'm a champion of, of, of the South. Mm. So power must come to the South, and you are clapping for them. They now divide us to say, I'm South, you are North. Yeah, yeah. Then they look at it again, they say, it's time for Christians, it's mm. time for Muslims. Muslims. Mm. How many people do you have in your cabinet? Mm. They are Muslims. As if they care about the religion, no. no. They fact, just want to divide us. They talk about and and we are so silly. We clap to high heavens about, oh, it's time for the South. Mm -hmm. or, or like we're trumping up for some, some guys who are saying it's time for the South. As if they care about the South. So, so I, because we've said to be gullible, the politicians know the tactics. 2027 is around the corner. The politicians know the game plan they gave for 2027, mm -hmm. what they will use to bamboozle us. And every time we come around and we start sulking, and I say, why are you sulking? You sold your birthright, so you cannot demand anything. Until and unless the people wake up, I'm, I'm not sure we're going to get any change.